sort of what you've heard about what this uh, combination means for Delaware State University and what you're most excited about? I'm honestly just excited for a chance to meet new students. This is just going to be an even bigger atmosphere. Delaware State is already vibrant and fun. So just adding new personalities and new talents and skills will just make the school that much more better. And what drew, what drew you to Delaware State in the first place, Joe? Probably uh, the alumni. My mom went to Dell State and she would always talk about how great her experience was. So I was like, OK, let me try it out. Let me go see what it's all about. And it really just spoke to me, all the majors, all the organizations. And that's why I chose the school. And I'm pretty sure the Wesley students, now DSU students, will love it as well. Fantastic. And Lindsay, how about you? Tell us first a little bit about why you chose Wesley. I chose Wesley because of the small classes and also because my mom and a lot of my family members, they go here too. So it's very interesting coming here as well and becoming an alumni. Um, the most thing I'm excited about though during this merge is definitely, of course, meeting new people and seeing all the personalities like merge together. And um, definitely like the core curriculum, I'm excited to see all the new like curriculum offered there and the new majors offered there. And um, Mostly the events, like I'm excited for the events there. I think that there's gonna be more opportunity to meet new people and get to see and learn new things there. That's great, that's great. And then one final question for you both. Uh, if you were encouraging um, Delaware State students or Wesley students about uh, what this means uh, for greater opportunities for you all uh, and the broader um, combined system, what, what kinds of things would you have them focus on as we head into the fall? I would first start saying that I'm very understanding that this is a new experience, but it will surely be worth it. They should really focus on getting involved with all the organizations here, the programs, getting in touch with the faculty and staff. We have an, a great faculty and staff system here that will support you through this process, that will get you focused on your classes, your future even outside graduation. And also feel free to reach out to the people that you see here on this call that we are really willing to help you. I'll put my information in the chat. Get to know the students because we're ready to get to know you. That's great. And Lindsay, how about you? What would you tell your uh, Wesley classmates? I would say be excited about this opportunity. You know, um, the core curriculum, everything that's offered there, there's more stuff offered there, I think, than at Wesley sometimes. And you can see more people and just take the opportunity that's there. And especially since this sports is D1, get the chance to like open up to more of a D1 school and be excited to uh, meet new professors and see what they offer you as well. Well, to Lindsay, you and to you, Jewel, thank you for being here and just spending a few minutes with us. I do, Lindsay, want you and your classmates to know that we are working very hard to uh, continue some of the uh, deep uh, Wesley traditions. I've said um, to your faculty and staff on many occasions that one of the reasons this was so attractive to us is because there is a rich 147 year history at Wesley uh, that is excellent. Um, that also means a lot. Um, to alumni and stakeholders in Dover and across Delaware, uh, but also uh, you are you all are fine and exceptional students, and we feel like we're going to build an even greater university uh, by having you with us. And uh, if you haven't already noticed it, uh, students like Jewel are all over Delaware State University, ready to welcome you, ready to learn, and building capacity uh, for a very very bright future. So thank you to you both for being here. Thank you, and thank, thank you. you. And hang out with us for a while if you could. We might, there might be some questions for you at the end. Now I'm going to turn it over uh, to Mr. Tony Boyle. Tony? Thank you, President Allen. Thank you very, very much. Delaware State University, Wesley College, Delaware State University, Delaware State University. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're excited. If I can just ask Kyle to put up one of the slides there for us. We just want to say a brief thing about you. But before he does, let's meet our team. Terrell Holmes, Dr. Holmes, register, raise your hand. Thank you, sir. Robin Parker, student accounts. Al Dorsett, financial aid. Kareem McLemore, the man that sent the letter yesterday. Kareem, love that stuff. 
If you can show that letter to us, it all matters because it truly all matters. You matter, we matter, everyone matters. Please stay safe. What's next for us there, uh, Kyle? One more. On yesterday, all of you received a letter from us at Wesley that looked just like this. And right there in the middle under number one, it gave you your email address. It gave you your, your, your D number, as we call it here, or your identifier number, or your student ID number. But just so you know, you, you know the names that we use, right? You use that D number. You'll say that a lot. So you'll know that's your ID number here. And then your email address. This was emailed to your Wesley address. All of our Delaware State students got this when they first were accepted to the institution. They got a letter that says, welcome to Delaware State University. Here's what's going on. So all of you got a letter that looked like this, that told you to take action and to do some wonderful things. So Brother McLemore, thank you for sending that letter out. The letter went out to all of the students registered at Wesley uh, for this spring term. So if you're registered there, you got this letter just as a, a welcome. Here's what's going on. If you were undergrad, if you were grad, you all got a letter saying, here's your D number, here's your email address. And then what you want to do next, and that next says register for the fall semester. That means between Kristen McDermott and her team on the Wesley side, Jerso Segni on our side here, working with you to get you registered. We are happy that about 250 students at Wesley did something yesterday in their record, did something in their new Delaware State environment all in less than 24 hours. And we are fired up, excited about that. International students did some things on yesterday. We're excited about that. Now the path forward. You will hear from the four I just uh, introduced to you about what to do, registration, how that stuff works, and what you need to do for the fall of the year, how to get enrolled, and how to do what we call onboarding. Over the next several months, as the president said, he'll have forms such as this. We also do enrollment sessions, as it were, that talk you through every single step you need to have. So there are forums just like this. We record those forums. We save those so you can see what's going on. And we give you a lot of information. So you may get a robocall. Our robocalls does say Delaware State University and the office that's calling you to tell you to do something. You may get an email that says, take this action. You may get within your uh, 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 our portal, you'll get some information. So again, a lot of good stuff that's happening. We want to make sure that you know you will see a cadence of contacts from our team about what you need to do and what you need to do next. To our international students there, you will get a special uh, note as what you need to do over and above the things you do to register. We will do to make sure that your I-20 form is taken care of, that you have all the things to continue your education. To those in Veterans Affairs, for example, you will also get a special uh, session as well too about the things for VA benefits and those in that come over. Everyone will get the general meetings that we'll have. Those that are specific meetings, we'll have specific meetings. Uh, this is being called a town hall now, but we do call them forums. So you'll see that name as it were. So, and we do have those that we engage. That is all I want to do now is transfer over to our team to walk you through what that is. But I certainly want to kind of set the stage for here's what's coming. And we say to you, don't ignore, do not not check your email, right? Your email is your lifeline to us. We will send it to your Delaware State University email and to your Wesley email. We more than likely will not send it to your Yahoo, to your Gmail, to your ALO. We will not send it there. We want to send it to the official email, which is Delaware State University's email and the Wesley email so you have that information. When you receive those, don't just think it's spam. I promise you, open it up because it may be a scholarship opportunity. We, we get those uh, almost weekly that we will email out to you for you to apply. Some of them are non-competitive. Some of those are just entitlements based on your achievement. We want you to do those. It may be aid that Mr. Aldor Set has to give you. We want you to make sure you have that as well too. It may be a payment plan. We want you to have that as well. So I'm gonna turn it over to my team for them to take you through it in the next 25 minutes or so, and then we'll go from there. So team, take it away. All right, uh, good morning, good morning, future Hornets, and good morning, current Hornets. Um, we are in a critical time at Delaware State University where we are finishing and putting the finishing touches on the spring 2021 semester, and we are embarking on getting ready for our summer and fall semester. So as we're doing all of that, 
uh, we want to make sure that everyone has all the instruction that they need to be successful in their continued matriculation at Delaware State University. Um, so we're going to speak kind of in two. We're going to speak to the two groups today. We're all one family, but we're going to just give some slightly different instructions to each group. First, to our future Hornets, those are our students that are coming from Wesley College. And then our next slide will be for our continuing Delaware State University students. Um, so as we begin the pre-registration process at Delaware State, understand that registration connects you to the institution. Um, it's great. Um, our, our Wesley uh, College students, our future students, if you've been to our bookstore and you, um, and you bought a T-shirt and you're excited about being at Delaware State, if you have not registered at Delaware State, you're not officially a student here. So we want to be sure that you understand it's very important that you begin the registration process. So our first bullet we talked about, uh, uh, Mr. Bulls talked about uh, yesterday, <clears throat> you, excuse me, you should have received uh, some not a notification from your assigned advisor as it relates to the advisement and registration process for fall 21 here at Delaware State. So that's the check mark that should have already happened. Um, uh, you received a letter already, as it really in bullet two, about your new Delaware State University student ID number and your Delaware State University email address. Uh, all this information was sent to your Wesley email for your convenience to be sure that you have that information. Um, we are going to uh, be communicating with you through your Wesley email for a little bit of time, for a little bit. Uh, but we want you to uh, log into your Delaware State University email, become very familiar, and commit to memory your Delaware State, your new Delaware State University ID number, so that you can successfully navigate the uh, begin the navigation of the waters at Delaware State University. Um, just so that you know, as you're beginning to log into your Delaware State University email, your Delaware State University ID number is your password for your Delaware State University email address. Okay, so be sure to use a capital D whenever you are um, inputting that ID number. Uh, whether it be to log into your MyDSU account or to log into your Delaware State University email address. You always want to use a capital D with that 1-0 with that 10 number to be ensure to ensure that uh, things work smoothly uh, for your login process here at Delaware State. Also, um, our, our, our advising team has been speaking with our um, with our Wesley advising team. They have already synchronized and coordinated every program, every major. Um, equivalencies have already been ironed out. So as you begin your registration at Delaware State, your fall 21 registration will be in sync and it will be, and it will go in lockstep with where you are now. So that means that if you're a, if you're finishing your sophomore year at Wesley College, you'll begin your junior year classes here at, at Delaware State University. It will go hand in hand. Everything will be right in sequence, right in order. You will not miss a step. Uh, we've worked very hard to make sure that uh, the registration process, that it's as smooth as it can be, that equivalencies have been ironed out. And again, sophomore level courses to sophomore level courses here at Delaware State, junior level courses have been mapped to junior level courses. So as you begin, uh, as you're progressing from one class to another, you will, um, you will be in lockstep with what's happening here at Delaware State. Uh, your major and program of study uh, that you uh, were pursuing at Wesley College, it will continue at Delaware State University. Delaware State University has uh, determined a direct equivalent um, program for you here at Delaware State. Delaware State has not only um, created an equivalent uh, program for you and identified equivalent program for you, but Delaware State has adopted new programs to ensure that we can teach you out and that you will receive a degree from Delaware State University. Uh, the institution just approved uh, probably about seven or eight new programs uh, for our Wesley College uh, students to ensure that you continue to, your journey here at Delaware State and your matriculation, again, is as smooth as possible. So we're not adding to your four-year or less journey. Uh, we are continuing on with that four-year or less journey, keeping you on track with where you are, um, where you are and where you will be going effective fall 21 semester. We need to remind our Wesley students that are coming over to, uh, for the fall 21 semester, you are not a transfer student here at Delaware State University. You are a continuing Delaware State University student for the fall 21 semester. You're not a transfer student. Your credits will not be treated as transfer credits. Your any credit, any academic history, past grades, scheduled GPA, all those things 
will be brought over holistically from Wesley College and you will maintain the same GPA, you will maintain the same uh, letter grades, you will maintain the same uh, number of credit hours that you earn at Wesley College or that Wesley College accepted. So if there were credits that were accepted by Wesley College or credits that you've earned at Wesley College, all those credits will be brought over in the same manner that they exist on your Wesley record to Delaware State University. Um, that is a big deal, that is a huge thing, but um, understand that you will maintain your GPA. So that means that those of you that are online to receive honors, those of you that may have a 4.0 and you've worked hard to maintain that 4.0, you will still have a 4.0 at Delaware State University. You will be able, eligible for a summa cum laude, magna cum laude, uh, cum laude, all the honors that come with that if you're graduating in a year or two years or three years from now. So you will continue and maintain your GPA. For our current Hornets, our uh, returning students here at Delaware State University, again, a critical time for you also at Delaware State to keep you connected uh, to Delaware State so that you can continue your, your matriculation at Delaware State University. Very important that you continue uh, the, the registration process and that you're registering for future terms at Delaware State. Um, our summer uh, schedule is available to you now for view access as well as our fall semester. Um, you, our Delaware State University current students will begin registration on this following Monday, March the 29th. Um, so be aware of that. Many of you have already met with your advisors. You've, done, you've completed the advisement process. Now you're gonna begin the registration process, which will begin on Monday. We know that on Monday, we have priority registration for our athletes, um, our dreamers, um, our SGA folks, um, our students uh, with uh, disabilities. You will be given access, uh, athletes as well, you will be given access to registration first to complete that registration process, March 29th and the 30th and then our, uh, our regular population of uh, continuing students at Delaware State will begin registration on March the 31st. Again, just as a reminder, the summer, uh, summer schedule is available. It will also be available for registration on the 29th. Summer school, as we know it right now, is online um, completely. So all those courses are um, in an online format. And also, if you plan, not only just our current uh, Delaware State University students, but also our Wesley students. If you plan to secure housing for the fall semester, if you plan to take advantage of all the resources that come with housing, meal plans, uh, being a part of organizations, very important that you register as a full-time student for the fall 21 semester. So just keep in mind, um, as, we, as we've given you already, that uh, Delaware State University ID number that you've been given uh, we want you to access our My DESU page. Again, that website is my.desu.edu. Um, once you log into that page, that's going to give you access to your personal information 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It gives you access to review your academic uh, record, to uh, check, on, check on the status of your financial aid, um, to uh, get, receive tax information, to check on your academic status, all the things that, that speak to the journey of your um, matriculation at Delaware State are listed in your MyDSU account. If you're having challenges with accessing your MyDSU account, please reach out to us in the Office of Records and Registration. We can help you set up your password. We can also help you get access and navigate your Delaware State University record. Again, it's uh, a tremendous time um, to uh, be able to support you. Uh, be sure to reach out to our office if you have any issues. Understand that your MyDSU account is your lifeline to the institution. It tells your story about who you are, what your matriculation looks like here at Delaware State, and that is your permanent record. Not only just academically, but from a financial aid standpoint, as well as a billing standpoint. So become familiar with your MyDSU account. Um, log in often and early so that you're aware of the things that are going on. Log into your, MyD, uh, your, your Delaware State University email to be sure you're abreast of any announcements that are coming from not only my office, but from the Office of Financial Aid and Student Accounts. And again, as long as you do that, you will have a successful journey here at Delaware State University. Next slide. Good morning, good morning, good morning from the Office of Financial Aid. I'm Al Dorset, and I wanna say welcome new Delaware State University students. 
As Dr. Holmes stated, it all starts with a few things. One, we want you to complete your FAFSA if you have not already completed your FAFSA. We saw with our records, although a large, a large amount of students did complete a FAFSA and we have a record of their FAFSA, there are students out there that either um, we do not have the information to match the FAFSA, such as the Social Security number, or a FAFSA has not been completed for Delaware State University. So we ask that you complete your free application for federal student aid FAFSA using the 001428001428 uh, OPE ID. Once you complete your FAFSA, as Dr. Holmes stated, you do want to use that My DESU banner self-service. It's a key for you to help us and us to work together. We know when, it's, or you know when you've completed your FAFSA, but we don't always know. By logging into that My DESU banner self-service, you can look at the financial aid tab if we can move to the next slide. And on that financial aid tab, you will see a list of items that you can select from. We want you to look at your requirements and make sure under requirements, completed requirements, you see FAFSA, the FAFSA. That shows and indicates that we have received your FAFSA for the academic year, as well as pushes you to um, complete or sign in or complete an account on our online, our new online mobile platform. Next slide, please. So Delaware State University has heard all of our students and we look at wanting to provide the most efficient services as possible, as well as letting students know what's going on as we provide these services. Our online mobile platform not only tells a student their cost of attendance, how much aid they've been eligible to receive if they're missing any requirements, but it also allows a student to log on and if that student has been selected for a process called verification through the federal government, and upload their documents as well as complete and sign forms electronically on that platform. Therefore, we get indication that everything has been completed. The counselor can go through, verify the information as required by the federal government and complete the verification so that your aid can be finalized. Next slide. So as students click on the link or go to my or DESU verify my FAFSA, the students will be asked to use that DSU username for the email, as well as their D number as the password, both of those which Dr. Holmes stated that you received in the email that you received yesterday. And use that to sign in. Once you sign in, it will ask personal information to link your information with your FASFA and register your account. As you see right here again, to create your account, to use your DSU email as your username and D number as your password to sign in. So last but not least, once you sign in, you complete all that information. You will be able to see the documents that you've completed. The counselor will be able to review your documents and that's when we will start packaging students. We are starting to package our returning students and our current students, at least the uh, believe April 1st, which students will start receiving their awards at that point in time. If there are any questions or any concerns, please go to the financial aid website where you can see what counselors are responsible based off caseload for uh, the different alphabets, as well as make an appointment with any counselor or use our virtual online mobile platform to create or, or sign up for a mm -hmm. appointment. Thank you. Can you give them the school code one more time? Yeah. School code one more time. 001428. That is Delaware State University's federal school code to be eligible for federal financial aid. And after they put us on uh, their FAFSA, how long should they wait to contact you? Uh, usually, once you put us on your FAFSA, it usually takes the federal government about two to three business days to actually send the FAFSA over to us. So that's when you should definitely go on that My DSU banner self-service, see if your FAFSA is there, and definitely if you do not see it there, please contact us immediately. Good morning, Wesley students. Welcome to Delaware State University. My name is Robin Parker, and I am with the Office of Student Accounts, and I am just going to walk you through a few functions that uh, the Office of Student Account oversees. 
Um, as mentioned previously, the my.desu.edu is going to be a very familiar portal to all of you um, to access your banner self-service, which a lot of functions are under. You will go to the MyDESU portal. Next slide, please. How to submit a payment. Delaware State University has partnered with Nelnet Campers Commerce to help make tuition more affordable. When you click under your banner self-service, you're going to go to the self-service tab, click on student services and select Nelnet payment portal. Whichever semester that you are selecting to make a payment for will be indicated under this portal. To also select, um, to, to make payments for housing, you're going to also visit the MyDESU page. You're gonna go under the middle of the page um, where housing deposits are indicated. You will put in your student ID number, your PIN number, and proceed with making your housing deposit. As indicated previously, um, these are just a few additional steps that will be required to establish your tuition payment plan through the Nelnet payment portal. Here's a screenshot of what your page will look like when establishing or setting up your housing deposit. Um, housing deposit fees vary from $200 to $400. Again, just select whichever housing that you are being assigned to, and it will indicate what fee is necessary to pay. How to enroll in the payment plan. Our fall semester offers nine installments for your payment plan. Our spring semester offers six, and our summer semester offers four. Um, there is a $70 enrollment fee for the fall payment plan, and there's a $35 enrollment fee for the summer and spring payment plans. Our hours of operations. Um, we are all about being convenient and being here for you, our students. Our lobby is open between the hours of 8.30 to 3.30, Monday through Thursday, and on Friday from 8.30 to 1.30. We also have WebExes that are open for each of our departments between the hours of 8.30 and 8. Um, again, welcome to Delaware State University. We are so happy to have you a part of our family and we are excited to begin this journey with you. Alan, Tony, can we, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. And thank you to the entire uh, strategic enrollment uh, team and everything you've done uh, for Delaware State University and certainly for helping our Wesley students transition over. Uh, Brother McMillan, as is our normal course of action, uh, I want to make sure that we have have plenty of time for questions. Uh, so there are, are, are there any questions in the chat? Yes, sir. First one. Uh, do post 9-11 GI Bill students need to do anything specific for the switch from Wesley to DSU to ensure their funds go to DSU? Okay, I'll have uh, Mr. Wilson take that one. Terrell, go ahead and take that for us. Sure. Uh, so if you're participating um, in any uh, VA benefit uh, related to not only just post 9-11, but uh, Chapter 35, um, uh, active duty, um, any sort of VA benefit, that, um, that you're receiving from the uh, VA Department of Veterans Affairs. You want to be sure that we receive your, what we call a certificate of eligibility. This is the official document that the VA gives you that says that you're eligible for the benefit. That will begin your, um, your claiming of that benefit here at Delaware State. Once we receive your certificate of eligibility here in the Office of Records and Registration, um, we will, um, because we're a military friendly institution, you are automatically uh, granted the in-state tuition rate um, upon receiving the VA benefit and the in-state tuition rate, we will certify you officially with the VA office, and then they will disperse money um, as appropriate, whether it's coming directly to the institution or to you as the student. Next question, Brother McMillan. Who should Wesley students contact if they notice problems in their record? 
All right, so um, academic issues, um, you want to immediately contact the Office of Records and Registration. Um, as the chief uh, custodian of all academic records here at the institution, it's my job and the job of my office to ensure that your academic record um, is reflect, reflected appropriately um, so that if you have questions related to your academic record, you want to reach out to us immediately so that we can work through those issues. Um, I do want to remind everyone and our Wesley students that um, as we have only begun the matriculation of all of your information at Delaware State. So as of right now, if you log into your account, you have kind of a what we call a bare bones student record. You have a status, you have a major, uh, you have a student type, and you're eligible to register. Your academic history and all those things that come along with that, your transfer work, um, GPA, uh, grades that you've taken, whether it be through uh, your first uh, first year at Wesley or your last three years at, at Wesley. All those things will be brought over. Uh, we're hoping to get those over by the first week of May. So we had to put a stop sign in the process to ensure that you could register and begin your matriculation for, for the future. But all of your academic work and the academic history that you've already accumulated, those things will be brought over, um, we're hoping, within the last four, within the next four weeks. Next question. Are, are DSU students allowed to major minor in programs offered by Wesley College? Will our prerequisite credits be the same for both curriculums? So, um, so Delaware State University to ensure to, that we um, were able to accommodate you in whatever program you're in, there was an equivalent program that Delaware State has that was mapped to your current Wesley program. So that program was mapped to your to the Delaware State University program so that you can stay on task. Also, Delaware State University adopted new programs. Uh, for instance, uh, integrated international studies, excuse me, um, law studies, uh, judicial, judicial studies, I believe. Um, also, a, couple, a few graduate programs to ensure that if we did not have the program, that we have the program now to accommodate you. Um, also, as it relates to prerequisites and co-requisites, um, again, course equivalencies have been mapped out so that if you have already met the equivalent prerequisite or co-requisite for a course that Delaware State University has, all that will be taken in, into account and you will be registered for the appropriate course. In addition to that as well, our Board of Trustees also have approved all of those new programs that were advanced by our faculty senate uh, to the board of trustees for us to have the programs here so if as a delaware state university student currently saying well will those new programs be affected by you they're now a part of our overall offerings so now you, those were, were advanced president allen advanced those as it were through our provost and those are now in our general offering as it were to include the associate's degrees as well as our baccalaureate and master's degrees that were not previously offered at Delaware State University, our board uh, brought those over. I know that Dr. Holmes and his team now are now adding those to our overall course listings and degree level offerings, as it were, certificate programs, associates, baccalaureate and master's degrees as well. And that was done on last week uh, as well. That was also done, that's correct. And I also, if, uh, Mr. Bull, if I could add that now, because they're officially part of the, um, the, these new programs are officially part of Delaware State University's offering, our Delaware State University students also have access to those new programs. So we want you to be reminded of that Delaware State University students. So we're expanding our program portfolio, um, not only just for our Wesley students, but for any of our continuing students. So if, if there is interest in those new programs from our returning Delaware State University students, speak with your advisor, understand the impact before you make that change so that you're aware of if, if you make that change, what that means for you going forward. Next question. Are the Wesley students going to be housed in DSU halls such as Jenkins and Tubman Laws? Yeah, I'll take that question, gentlemen. Uh, to date, uh, the housing applications, I, do, I believe, will start uh, rolling on the week of April 5th. And housing will be available on both campuses. Again, I want to say that housing will be available on both campuses. So whether you are a Wesley College student coming over to the Delaware State University family or a Delaware State University student continuing, housing will be available on both campuses. 
last question. Uh, I have not received an email with my new email address or the student ID. I have filled out uh, the interest. I have filled out the interest form. Who can I contact about this? I would encourage that that student and all students. I mean, Kareem Macklemore there in the back. Kareem, just wave your hand. He is our director of admissions. His office, the office of admissions here on campus, starts that process for you. Contact him. He will work with our registrar to ensure that you receive that. So please check your Wesley email, but certainly uh, reach out. We'll also provide to you in the chat. Go ahead, Kareem, and give us the, the contact stuff for you. Um, I'll, I'll definitely say make sure you check your Wesley email, not only the inbox, but make sure you check the spam. It may have went there, but we sent out the email to all these uh, registered students at Wesley at the spring 2021. And the email is simply a call to action to uh, review your uh, DSU number, your uh, DSU email. The second portion is to also register for the fall 2021. And if you have yet to receive that, make sure uh, you contact us at admissions at desu.edu. Again, that's admissions with the S at desu.edu. And uh, myself and Dr. Holmes will work collectively to make ensure we get you those credentials. President Miller, is that all the questions? Uh, that is the last question, sir. Okay. Uh, so for everybody, again, thank you for uh, this opportunity. Again, as I said at the start, this is an opportunity for Delaware State University to earn your choice as a, a continuing student at Delaware State University. I say that for uh, Delaware State University students and Wesley College students. It is not a foregone conclusion to us um, that you would naturally choose Delaware State or continue with Delaware State. So we're trying to earn your choice every day. Uh, you will see ongoing forms like this uh, that will be focused on students uh, throughout the rest of the semester. The next one will be April 8th. Again, I want to say the next one will be April 8th, and that'll be a focus on student life and activities. I am pleased to say that we have a couple of Wesley students already running uh, for student government uh, elections, as well as uh, some folks in the RA pool. I'm glad you're a part of that process. Feel free to encourage others to join. I also want to note to uh, Wesley faculty and staff, our next form for you will be April 13th. Again, for Wesley faculty and staff will be April 13th. I do have a note going out to faculty staff uh, today. Uh, so President Clark and I will be coordinating on that. So look for that uh, both uh, from President Clark's office and on the desu.edu landing page around the Wesley acquisition. It's called The Power of We. So as soon as you open up our website, you should click on The Power of We. As a final word, the one thing I'd say is when we know better, we do better. That's very important that when we know better, we do better. So it's critical, critical that you all have access to all the communication channels that you share these forms uh, with your classmates and colleagues. They are also available on our landing page and that you continually, continually ask questions until you receive the answers that you need in order to be successful at Delaware State University. Proud to say that we're in our 130th year providing educational access uh, to all. I believe we do it better than anybody else in the country. And we are looking forward to expanding our footprint with the quality of students, faculty, and staff uh, that Wesley is able to provide and the exceptional, exceptional student, staff, and faculty that are already here at Delaware State University. So as I leave you, remember the power of we. We're better together, and we will see you real soon. Take care.